Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise, I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. Today I'm here to bring you a wig review in partnership with Name Brand Wigs. This is Storm by Noriko. It's a brand new style in the color brown sable. Storm is a cute shade cut with lots and lots of volume and permatees. If you wanna know more about this style or about this color, stick around and I'll tell you all about it. Thank you so much Name Brand Wigs for sending me Storm so I could show this new style to everybody. This is something else. <laughs> it's so full, you guys. If you love body and fullness and permatease, you are going to love this one because this has that in spades. If you have not been to the Name Brand Wigs web website yet, please go check them out. Their website is namebrandwigs.com. There is a link in the description to this piece so you can go check it out if you want to. They're really a wonderful retailer with lots of resources, a great customer, customer service team. So if you're struggling with the wig wearing journey, you need help picking out colors, styles, you have questions, they can help you with all of that. You can email them at support at namebrandwigs.com. You can call them. They're really great. So please check them out. All right, everybody, let's take a look at this one from all sides. Lots of layers and flippies on the end. I also include pictures, so at the very end of this video, you will find pictures front, side, and back, so you can linger over the style if you'd like to really check it, check it out and how it looks on me. I also include timestamps in the description, so if there's something you want to see, you can skip ahead to that section. So if you're just here for color, go down to the description, and I've timestamped where I talk about color, so you don't have to sit through a whole video to get the information that's most important to you. All right, let's talk about Storm. You guys, this is super, super full, and it has some of the heaviest permatees that I think can be put on a wig. Let's just get that out whole there. cap, the only part of this cap that doesn't have a lot of poofy, pillowy permatees is right here. And sometimes the nape of some styles has permatees. This one does not, so there's none down here. So you can see how it's so full, and then it's not really full down below. Something else I want to really stress with you guys, and just so you know, I keep doing this. There's like one bang right here that's just a little bit too long for me, and it keeps wanting to poke in my eye. So just ignore me trying to brush it out of the way. Um, one thing I have to say, and I really want you to take this to heart, you cannot see poof on video very well. You just can't. This is super, super full. So if you're looking at this on me right now thinking, oh, that's cute, that's not very full, I would triple what you think you see, <laughs> honestly. I just do find that to be the case. It's really hard to see poof and volume in pictures and on video, it can look a lot different in person. But this one has a basic cap. There is no um, lace feature, no monofilament, no anything. So you're not going to be able to pull this off of the face because there is no lace front there. So you're gonna wanna leave the bangs either down or side swept. Um, and the, you know, they do, there it is a pretty good bang. Just a little bit too long, which I appreciate. I think that the bangs, I think they should err on the side of too long because it's way easier to just trim up a little bit versus get a wig and the bang is too uh, short for you. So just a little bit of trim. I would, I have a video where I show you how to trim up bangs with a, um, like a thinning texturizing razor. It looks sort of like a razor comb. It's so awesome. It makes trimming up bangs super easy. So if you haven't seen that, I'll link it in the description, but that's what I recommend having on hand for any wig, because there may be a time when you need to trim off a little piece here or there. That's a lot more foolproof to use than scissors for people who aren't good with them. Now I talked about the permatease, but the volume is actually, I would say it's low to moderate. It's really deceiving because there's so much permatease. 
it seems as though this would be a lot of hair. It's not. I wouldn't say it's thick at all. It's just that there's so much permatease. It does give the illusion that it's a high density piece. A it's couple really of other things. And this can just be sort of my styling example as well as I show you how to hide permatease. Headbands are my favorite way to number one, hide visible permatease and number two, to tamp down poof. So if your wig is just way too poofy for you and you can and are willing to wear headbands, then you can just take, and these headbands are just, they're anyway, they're you can just arrange the hair however you want it. You can take and tuck some of the sides and then just sort of smooth down the back. Look at how much that transforms this wig. I mean, look at that, you guys. It doesn't even look like the same wig. That is a great way to tamp down poof. And so if you're not sure, it might be worth trying because the education is priceless that you will get by trying different styles. And if you don't want to return it or you purchased it on clearance and you can't return it, you're going to be able to style it and you're going to be able to make it work. Probably. I mean, I guess I can't guarantee. The other thing you could do, and I thought I grabbed... I thought I grabbed a little clip. We'll just do another type of headband just so that you can see the difference. It is so great. And if you want to get it, so let's say you want to just sort of tamp it down in the front, but you like that really poofy behind look, you can totally do that. So many things you can do. If you're struggling and you've got little claw clips, you can take and you can clip some hair to the side. If you don't want to wear a headband, but maybe you want to wear a little clip, that will help tamp down some of the poof as well. Strategically placing clips or bobby pins will tamp down poof. I actually have a video where I show you how to do that with multiple wigs. I'll link that in the description so you can see how I take simple bobby pins, like the ones that you get in most of your wig boxes, and you just lift up the top layer, put a bobby pin on the underside layer, sort of bobby pin it to the cap, put that top layer back over it. Now you can't see that you bobby pinned it, but it lowers the poof. So useful. Let's talk about this cap, because I had said it's a basic cap. Another name for that is machine-made cap. No cap features that keeps the price point low. Lots of hair sewn in on the ear tabs, which gives you a lot of good coverage on the side. This does not have an extended nape, and it does have the pull bra strap adjusters. Those can be tricky to get to stay. So if you struggle with that, you can take a little needle and thread, any color of thread will work. Just do a couple of loop stitches right around the metal piece that this, like through the fabric and through the metal, just loop it around a couple times, knot it off, and you'll be able to, um, it will hold the adjustment that you made because sometimes those will loosen up over time. And so, yeah, basic cap. I would say the fit on this is running pretty average. Um, sometimes Noriko, Noriko has such a variety um, of sort of inconsistency in their cap sizes, in my opinion. I just have had so many of the same style. Sometimes they fit me and sometimes they don't. Noriko can run small. They are considered to be more of an average to an average small brand, and there is some inconsistency. So this is fitting me pretty perfectly. I, it has lots of stretch, but I have a 22 inch circumference. I think it will fit up to a 22 and a quarter pretty comfortably. I think it may fit bigger than that, but you're going to have it be a little bit. The coverage is spectacular. I always get phenomenal cover coverage. Even when Noriko caps fit me small on my circumference, I get phenomenal coverage from Noriko. So this ear tab comes all the way down the top of my ear is back here. I like it when an ear tab is in front and a little bit below the top of my ear. That way it clears my ear, but it gives me really good coverage. So I can tuck this and I get really good coverage because of all the hair that they sewed into that ear tab. Really phenomenal. Let's talk about color. This color, brown sable, oh my gosh. It is a beautiful neutral brunette with some coolish light brown highlights. It's so pretty. It is definitely cooler. Um, if it's looking warmer here, it's because of my lighting and just, you know, how the light plays off of the hair, the clothing, the wall, all of that. But it is definitely on the cooler side. More neutral. I would say the brown is more neutral with some coolish light brown highlights. So most of it is blended very well. 
every now and then you'll see a little bit of a pop of a light brown highlight like right there but it is not extreme it's not stripey at all they did a very good job of putting some of those highlights in to sort of brighten it just a little bit but not make it overly highlighted or obvious if you can wear medium browns and you do like them on the more neutral side you don't really want any red in it there's no red in this this could be a good one to try and look what they did with some of the light brown they brought it up in the front now you're not pulling it off your face if you were to you'd really see that pop of light but because you can't pull it off your face it's really subtle right in here and that is actually really flattering on most people putting some of the lighter colors in front just so it's not super stripy or obvious actually brightens up the face a little bit and as we get older that's really flattering all right guys we're gonna go outside so you can see this color outside and I have it out of the box it's just a minute long I just did it for you Instagram I speed it up but then you can see what this wig looked like out of the box look just like this I did nothing to this wig nothing at all this is out that's of the box. it let's get outside so that you can see this color outside thank you so much name brand wigs for sending this me to me and for allowing all of my wig sisters a chance to see it on me and thank you guys for being here I appreciate you more than I can ever tell you I really do all right let's get outside all right everyone here we are with this beautiful color this is where it's really gonna show through that it's more neutral than warm You see the lighter color right up here. That's what you've got sort of really well blended. It can help if I turn a little bit. Different background, the sun hits it at a different angle. I think if you love medium, dark brown or medium you want a little bit of something special with a little bit of highlights but nothing over the top and you don't want red you don't want super warm brown sable could be a great one for you all right you guys thank you so much for watching talk to you later okay here we are with the out of the box i speed it up so i can get through it a little bit faster it's really just about seeing it out of the box I was a little surprised by the volume. I don't know why. Noriko is known for their volume and permatease. <laughs> but you can see, it really looks exactly like I just showed you. Thanks for watching, everyone.